Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine capturing everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. Let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that the European Union, it has proposed its artificial intelligence bill, but how it is going to affect the medical and healthcare industry. So currently the regulators nor the investors exactly know that how this bill is going to affect medical and healthcare industries and usage of artificial intelligence in them. But with passage of time, a new precedent is going to be set and a new framework can be created for this type of things and dependent on how this is accepted by all the stakeholders. Healthcare industry is such a sensitive industry that every decision is creating a life or death situation. Therefore, the regulation and oversight should be as high as possible, but there should be flexibility enough to appreciate innovation that can do something for the greater good of humanity. Therefore, we should keep it in mind that artificial intelligence has propelled the medical industry, especially in the past two years. There should be room for innovators to experiment and create new innovations that are saving people's lives. Therefore, the key should be finding a middle ground between these two things, carefully focused on high standards of patient safety while also ensuring progress and innovation. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about Waymo and how they are creating a long-term process to create safe and secure self-driving vehicles. They have also said that Tesla crash car concerns are creating concerns and a bad reputation for self-driving vehicles in general and that they want to diversify and distinguish themselves from other self-driving vehicles and create a certain goodwill and trust among their consumer base so that people are not afraid of autonomous and self-driving vehicles. Therefore, this alphabet-backed company has spent 12 years and billions of dollars redefining a level 4 robotic driving system which requires no human on the wheel. All this is to underpin a multi-million dollar business comprising of robotaxis, autonomous delivery vehicles and big rigs and selling these systems to automakers. At the core, Waymo's goal is to reduce fatalities in road accidents which are caused by human oversight. Waymo's partners and all the stakeholders are also completely aligned in terms of optimizing the long-term success of their business. Therefore, they are also patiently waiting and not rushing to commercialize their project as soon as possible because safety for them is utmost. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about how technology is making investment and stock trading way smarter. Technology has democratized stock markets as we are not only reliable on a few experts, hence we have artificial intelligence applications and analytics websites suggesting by pattern recognition and price point prediction that which stocks you should invest in. The companies can also now provide ongoing assessment of compliance risk by combining machine learning technology with high speed and big data processing power. It happens on an AI platform allows for identifying complex trading patterns on a massive scale across multiple markets in real time. Financial professionals have now a provision to go through financial data, access notes, market insights and trending companies all in real time so they do not have to go through every single note or conversation that they had to do manually 5 to 10 years ago. Investors can get stock recommendation of the day via their app which is working with artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Some companies have also deployed something called a robo-advisor platform which places a dozen of investment algorithms to a millions of trade scenarios. Next days, out of all those strategies, only the strategies that had 60% or higher probability is suggested to the investors. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about China's policy which has been termed as a Frankenstein policy because it is a mishmash of two approaches which was liberal at first but have started getting stricter right now. Inarguably, the growth that Chinese tech sector saw in the last decade owes a lot to the liberal policies that China had for its tech companies. But lately, the Chinese government has shown intent to tighten the screws a bit on these tech giants. What can I say about China's growth in tech and artificial intelligence that already hasn't been said about it? They are so far ahead in AI supremacy that other countries have started fearing them and have started taking strict actions for Chinese tech companies. But China tightening screws on the big tech companies begs a question, will China lose the momentum that it has created over the past decade? 
तो चाइनाज ग्रोथ वॉज मेनली एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द टेक्नो यूटेलिटेरियन अप्रोच टूवर्ड्स प्रोडक्टिव एडेप्टेशन एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड अदर इमर्जेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज दिस हैड एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन द एक्सेलरेटेड डेप्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन ऑफ डेटा विच प्लांट द सीड्स फॉर फर्दर ग्रोथ कंसिडरिंग ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स एंड इम्पोजिशन द कंट्री माइट लूज इट्स मोमेंटम एंड इकोनॉमिक एंड जियो पोलिटिकल गेन्स दैट इट हैड गेन्ड ओवर द लास्ट डेकेड मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट स्टोरी ऑफ अवर डे Our last story is that Tokyo's NTT is teaming up with TCIL for 5G artificial intelligence and submarine systems. This two-year extendable deal with NTT Advanced Technologies would enable both companies to co-provide services in telecom, networking, information and related applications to their customers. Both these companies are coming together to cooperate in fifth generation communication technology. साइबर सिक्योरिटी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड सबमरीन सिस्टम्स थ्रू दिस पार्टनरशिप इंडिया स्टेट ओन टेलीकॉम इंजीनियरिंग एंड कंसल्टिंग कंपनी वुड बी एबल टू लेवरेज टोक्यो बेस्ड एंटिटी सिस्टम इंटीग्रेशन नेटवर्क एंड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एक्सपर्टीज विद इन द कंट्री एंड अदर ओवरसीज इनिशिएटिव through partner Virgo Corporation this partnership according to the officials would also help and provide a competitive edge following a sharp cut in dependence on china and chinese products and underdeveloped local manufactured products so that's about it those were all the stories that i have for you today click on the thumbs up if you like this video that helps us a lot i also recommend you read these stories in their entirety links for them will be in the description down below and while you are at it click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from analytics india magazine